Now let us find the trigonometric ratios of 30 degrees and 60 degrees. In order to find this, let us consider an equilateral triangle ABC. That means in equilateral triangle all the sides are equal. Let them be equal to some A units and all the angles will be equal to 60 degrees each. Therefore angle A is equal to angle B is equal to angle C is equal to 60 degrees. top angle B also 60 degrees. Now let us drop a perpendicular BD to base AC. Then we can say that angle BDA will be equal to angle BDC will be equal to 90 degrees and we know that in an equilateral triangle the altitude bisects the vertex angle that means here both the angles will be equal to each of 30 degrees and in equilateral triangle we know that median altitude are same therefore it also divides base into two equal halves that is AD is equal to A by 2 and DC is equal to A by 2 and in equilateral triangle we also know that length of height BD is equal to root 3 by 2 times the side that is nothing but root 3 by 2 times a. Now let us consider any of these given triangles that is in triangle ABD angle D is equal to 90 degrees therefore let us apply the trigonometric ratios here. Initially let us apply the trigonometric ratio sine that is sin 60 degrees is equal to opposite side that is nothing but BD divided by hypotenuse that is AB which is equal to BD is nothing but root 3 by 2 times A divided by AB is nothing but A therefore the value of sin 60 degrees is nothing but root 3 by 2 similarly cos 60 degrees is equal to adjacent side that is AD divided by hypotenuse AB which is equal to AD is nothing but A by 2 divided by AB is nothing but A which is equal to 1 by 2 therefore we got cos 60 degrees is equal to 1 by 2 now let us consider sin 30 degrees that is equal to opposite side AD divided by hypotenuse AB which is nothing but cos 60 that is half and similarly let us consider cos 30 degrees which is equal to adjacent side is BD divided by hypotenuse AB which is equal to sin 60 that is nothing but root 3 by 2 therefore here we got the values as sin 30 degrees is equal to 1 by 2 and sin 60 degrees is equal to root 3 by 2 cos 30 degrees is equal to root 3 by 2 and cos 60 degrees is equal to 1 by 2 now let us find the other trigonometric ratios that is tan first tan 30 degrees is equal to sin 30 degrees by cos 30 degrees which is nothing but 1 by 2 divided by root 3 by 2 which is equal to 1 by root 3 and tan 60 degrees is equal to sin 60 degrees by cos 60 degrees which is nothing but root 3 by 2 divided by 1 by 2 that is nothing but root 3 similarly cot 30 is nothing but reciprocal of tan that is 1 by tan 30 degrees which is equal to 1 by 1 by root 3 that is root 3 and cot 60 degrees is equal to 1 by tan 60 degrees which is equal to 1 by root 3 that is nothing but 1 by root 3 now let us find the secant 30 degrees that is equal to 1 by cos 30 degrees 
which is equal to 1 by root 3 by 2 which is nothing but 2 by root 3 and secant 60 degrees is equal to 1 by cos 60 degrees that is 1 by 1 by 2 which is equal to 2 and cosecant 30 degrees is equal to 1 by sin 30 degrees that is nothing but 1 by 1 by 2 which is equal to 2 and cosecant 60 degrees is equal to 1 by sin 60 degrees which is nothing but 1 by 3 by root 1 by root 3 by 2 that is nothing but 2 by root 3 these are the trigonometric ratios of angles 30 degrees and 60 degrees